Welcome back to the Eric Crown Crypto Channel. Wishing you a happy Nothing Starts to Slice Friday morning over here. And the line, the line of destiny <laughs> appears to have broken. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry, but the lights out line seems to have been violated here. Anyways, I wanted to follow up on yesterday's short and medium term time from analysis and, uh, and thread that back into the higher term time from analysis as there are a very nuanced interpretation of the long-term picture um, in contrast to the short-term picture right now. So let's just jump right on into it, starting off with the HPDR indicator similar to yesterday. Obviously, yesterday's setup did fail. That was the significance of the 17,550 region. Now, below that region, it wasn't just a failure for that particular setup on the HPDR, but it, also, it was also a validation of, well, very likely back below 17,000 bucks, which is what we've gotten thus far. So referencing this indicator yet again, there's actually no uh, current available setup on it, or at least none that uh, I can find myself. Um, but there is some interesting things going on right here because we can see as the four hour time frame does drop significantly below the bottom side of the 50% historical range lows um, as far as returns goes. Well, it is getting very, very close to the bottom side of the 80% now, and that is a likely bounce region. So looking at this right here, you know, that does obviously um, kind of align with the last uh, short-term time frame range lows within that region. So anywhere between basically 17 to as much as 16,700 is uh, is essentially the short-term time frame kind of bounce zone from that perspective. Now, bounce is not the same thing as reversal. Uh, the 17,550 region was incredibly important for uh, medium and higher term time frames. So any sort of bounce that essentially fails to get back above 17,550 is just that a bounce before very likely continuation um, further south. Uh, so in that case, that would also, you know, uh, by contrast, suggest that above 17,550, that's kind of like the uh, upside back on again, uh, lights outline if you want. Um, but as of right now, the more important lights outline has been violated. So let's go into the regular charts over here. Zeality for CMB. Obviously, I wasn't recording during this morning, but there was a couple of signs uh, or a couple of setups for hidden bearish divergence on Caretaker's RSI on the hourly. Couldn't have told you that was going to have this big of a uh, you know of an effect, obviously. But in this case, you know we can then go on to the next uh, specific time frame on the four hour, and we can see clearly that uh, you know Bitcoin very likely does reach a little bit lower before trying for that bounce. The prior major range lows um, before this last move to the the upside was 16650 that's the next lights out it's the next lights out line bro and uh and if that and if that one goes you don't even want to know what happens no what what uh, what very likely happens is the same thing as we spoke about before below that region on a higher term time frame closing basis very likely bitcoin sees below 16000 bucks at that point now i want to be very very uh, careful with how i relate concepts here because while that uh, very well could happen and, and bitcoin probably even does test down around there um, until it actually does break, I don't look at that as actionable. And you know, you're probably going to see some bounces in between, of course, as well. Things typically don't move in like a fully direct straight line. Um, but if you were to see that, yes, somewhere between 15.5 to maybe like 15.8 is probably where I'd be looking for um, on CME. Anyways, other than that, let's now go reference stochastic momentum. Starting off with the daily. Daily will remain with downside stochastic momentum as long as Bitcoin on CME is closing below 18,000 bucks. Keep that number in mind because. it's probably going to see it pop up a few times, similar to yesterday, but in that case, well, that one also failed. 12-hour uh, time frame, what do you know? 18,000 bucks as well. Six-hour time frame, what do you know? 17,800, so very close. Four-hour time frame, 17,400, getting a little bit more in the critical zone right there, yes. And the hourly is probably flippy floppy, but down in this case, and we'll be remaining with downside pressure as long as Bitcoin's below 17.2. So, you know, does Bitcoin reach a little bit lower here? Very likely, yes. And then tries for probably a short-term time frame bounce, you know, somewhere in this region right here. Uh, but again, short-term time frame bounce, just not at all the same as a reversal uh, call. 17,550 is going to be the magical number for that one, at least as far as I look at things. Now, because today is Friday and it is the weekly closure for CME, it would be wise to be looking at the weekly momentum pivot for CME. And we can see that it's actually at 16,450, which is interesting here because that would obviously co uh, co uh, corroborate um, you know, a break of this area as well, that 16,650-ish region. Obviously, different time frames and different measurements, but ultimately, you'd have a structural breakdown plus momentum turning down on the weekly as well 
if that were to happen by the end of the you know the closure today um, so do you keep that in mind because if that does happen very likely going to see you know below sixteen thousand bucks uh, in the coming weeks and then santa santa's rally turned into a fucking lights out rally i, I guess um you know I, you know these things obviously do happen anyways uh okay yes yeah, so where was i all right so um we're getting uh Yes, yes, that's right. That's right, I just remind myself. So the weekly, and then I want to go over into this chart over here. So while we've spoken about a lot of uh, downside displeasures, or I imagine downside displeasures for many people, um, the weekly accumulation distribution indicator still does suggest that even if Bitcoin were to retest around the current lows, it's very unlikely to close on new lows before trying a greater rally, um, you know, maybe until like early January, February, something like that. So what essentially is a setup? Well, anytime that we've seen the weekly accumulation distribution indicator get to this horizontal green line and then get a, uh, well, and, and just turn around from that region, that has initiated on average for the full history of Bitcoin, the full uh, 13, what is it, 13 years now 12 13 years whatever it is um uh an average gain uh from from that bounce area of about 49 percent i do think that that would be you know kind of that's asking for a little bit too much right now to be quite honest with you um but uh but that was that was also recorded over um the average time of about 70 days and looking at the variance of this it, basically all of the results were like either 50 days or around 50 days or up to like 90 to 100 days so that's where i'm kind of getting two to three months from and this one officially uh came in when was this um yeah this would be uh, early november so early november um where would that put us at for two months well that would put us at uh, January, early January, or maybe as much as uh, February. So while Bitcoin could very easily come back down and test around those current lows, I do think that it'd be unwise to be looking for significantly new lower lows. Um, I do think that it'd be more wise to be looking for another bounce from that region and Bitcoin tries for a rally, maybe like early next year, um, uh, that being 2023. Uh, which, you know, to put in perspective right now, we have seen a decent rally off the lows, definitely, um, you know, close to a 20% rally, obviously, uh, which is significant, but that is not even, ha that's basically half of what we do expect um, for even the bottom side of the first deviation here. So ultimately, um, the major level, the major level, the major lights out area right here, 16,650 going to be very, very important because that's essentially going to decide whether I look for, you know, another move down towards those prior lows or not. If it, uh, if it, you know, if obviously things pop back up above 17,550, then at that point, probably rally, uh, rally on yet again. But Ultimately, right now, short term, you know, probably going to come into a bounce relatively soon. Uh, but just be wary that um, bounces don't necessarily mean reversals until proven. So I think that's a good place for me to leave off on this particular video. Nice and short and sweet. Um, yeah. I think that's, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's where we want to leave it. So I want to be wishing you the best, the best as always. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully soon.